What is going on, you guys? It is your boy MC here, back episode 11, the second to last episode that I will be checking out for the first season of Tokyo Ghoul. Last episode, my God, did a lot happen. So much that, honestly, I didn't even want to talk about it all because there was just so much that happened. Just, I got into kind of the first overall parts and mainly the main parts of the episode, which, number one, was Jason. I totally forgot how brutal this dude was and just how much of a sick mother lover he is for for torture and pain like he he freaking loves it he, he absolutely loves that he loves that more than he probably loves devouring humans like honestly so they kidnapped Kaneki and now basically they have to go and rescue them when all of this chaos is going around in the 11th ward so i just want to know how this episode and the next one are eventually going to lead in to everything else that i am going to catch up on and just honestly what is going to happen but before i get into the episode look what i got in the uh, mail today and you guys probably saw it in the community tab if you guys checked it out the battle levi pop i absolutely love this funko pop i have been waiting for this one to come in for the new attack on titan series i do have a couple more on the way but this is just one of the first ones that i got i apps like i know it's probably not gonna be in focus but you can kind of see like overall all the blood and everything there but I absolutely love it. I, I, I just love the Levi character. And yeah, I overall loved season three of AOT. And I loved overall everything that was this sequence with him, the Beast Titan. I absolutely loved it. So I love this. And yeah, I have two. I have a couple more pops coming in. But some of the main ones I do have the, and both of them are Jujutsu Kaisen. I have the, one of the Gojo Pops where he has the blue lightning aura. I think it's his domain expansion, I believe. I know it's been a while, but I know it's kind of that moment. It was somewhere around there, but you guys know what I'm talking about. And also I have the Sukuna Pop of Yuji Itadori coming in as well. It's like glow in the dark and it's going to look really, really cool. So I can't wait to get all of those. But if somebody knows Funko or if they're able to tweet out to Funko, can we please and I know I speak for probably most of the people out there that are fans of this show. Since you guys got one punch, Pops, can we please, for the love of God, since their last season is coming around, can we please get some Mob Psycho Pops? Like, for, for the love of God, like, I want, that is just the one series that I want to get Funko Pops. Like, I want a Reagan, I want a 100% Mob, I want a Dimple, like, I, I, I want terror like i want everybody i literally want everybody because it's one of my favorite shows so just at least for the sake of them having a last season please give them a funko line i'd absolutely love that but just besides all that and getting off funkos we are getting into the last two episodes of tokyo ghoul i am very excited to finally start and at this recording i am recording now on saturday so this video will be out on sunday but i am just so excited to get into Tokyo Avengers starting tomorrow. Tomorrow I start recording, and then all of next week will be the first week of Tokyo Revengers. The next six weeks are gonna be kind of hectic just for scheduling and editing or whatever, but I am gonna try my best because we are just around six weeks away from the first episode of season six of my hero and then eventually mob psychos rolling in chainsaws around the corner you guys know the deal but i cannot wait because we are just weeks away and one hell of a show to get started on with tokyo revengers have been very very looking forward to it but i am just gonna leave that for next week Going into the last two episodes of Tokyo Ghoul, once again, if you guys are new to the channel, guys, like my reaction, like, subscribe, comment down below, and if you guys want to be notified on when we release those videos, make sure to smash that notification bell, but with that being said, let's get right into the episode. I'm only going to cover a couple things because I already know there's so much going to happen in the next episode, and obviously it's the season finale. One of the things that I really will say, and it's something I definitely wasn't expecting, but I was definitely curious to see what this character was going to do. I love Zuzia. I, re I really do. It's it's something weird with him. It's like, oh, you could see maybe he's kind of like a like a mini version of Mato a little bit. But I don't know. It's it's something different with him. Maybe it's just the fact that he's like a kid kind of and he's just like he's not that sa like sadistic and he loves overall what he does and he's having fun with it. That's the one thing with this character is that he is fun. He is fun to look at on screen and just see what overall he does with stealing his bike and just overall sending them in like giving him a passageway to at least clear the entire freaking floor. That was great by him. I absolutely love that. He took it upon himself to do that and literally that is the, one of the reasons why he's third class. So I absolutely love that and hopefully he has more to do in the manga as well i assume he does but i overall love the look of the character and just the personality getting in this episode i absolutely loved it he was so much fun let's talk about jason now we finally got 
basically a backstory with how he became who he is now and overall why he loves torture. Now, he loves torture for the fact that he was tortured way, way back then, and that's how he reflects off of it. So that's creepy and that's disturbing, but that's what makes that character. And overall, everything in this episode with Kaneki was brutal, uncomfortable, and just overall insane. And just, oh, I would not want to be stuck in a room alone with him at all. So now just begs the question, what is going to happen now? What is the next episode going to be? We got subtle kind of shots and cuts with whatever. It was really all just kind of like audio a little bit with the whole Kaneki and Jason thing that happened in this episode. We really didn't get to see actually visually what he was doing. It was just kind of a couple quick shots like pans and tilts and everything, but we could just automatically assume kind of what was kind of going on. And now at the very end, we saw Kaneki with his signature white hair now, which I am curious on what happens. Now, please, because I know people were talking about a cliffhanger, I at least want to see what happens with that. Don't make me have to read the manga and at least know about that because I just want to know that because that's just overall interesting on why he just overall, his hair changed and I want to know what else changed. So I just want to see maybe what Jason did to him or just anything else. I just want to see it. Cannot wait to check out the season finale of the show. Thank you guys for watching my reaction. You guys are excited for the rest of Tokyo Ghoul and you guys like the channel, like, subscribe, comment down below. And as always, my name is Omzi and I am out.